It's Tuesday, April 13th. I'm Jim Hummel with your KTC News Brief. LSU police are working with deputies in St. John the Baptist Parish after a body was found in the Mississippi River. It was found in reserve about 50 miles outside Baton Rouge. This comes amid the ongoing search for missing LSU student and Opelousas native Corey Goche. The body has not been identified. Distribution of the Johnson & Johnson single-dose COVID-19 vaccine is on hold here in Louisiana and elsewhere. This comes after the CDC and FDA recommended a pause in its use after six cases of a rare and severe type of blood clot. The pause is a setback to the global vaccine campaign. Here in Louisiana, the Department of Health is reporting 442 new cases of COVID-19 and 14 new deaths. Hospitalizations are up by 22. Across Acadiana, there were 119 new cases and three deaths reported. One person is facing charges in Lafayette after a shooting this morning on Park Lane Road. It injured two people. The suspect has been identified as David Kissel. He's facing two counts of attempted first degree murder. At last check, both victims were stable. Lafayette Parish is in the process of updating its hazardous mitigation plan. What it does is update natural disaster preparation, for example, when a hurricane threatens the area or when there's severe flooding. One major issue in Lafayette is flooding. That's one of the major issues of this mitigation plan is to uh, work out ways to help prevent the problems that we had from flooding in the future. We also work with other parishes because their flooding problems also affects Lafayette Parish and vice versa. And turning to weather now, Bradley, what can we expect out there? AJM well, after torrential downpours across the area today, rainfall totals have been piling up and with additional rain expected over the next couple of days, Weather Service has went ahead and uh, issued a flash flood watch for the entire viewing area. This will uh, go through midday on Thursday again for additional rainfall that's going to be falling on top of what we already saw out there today. So we pick it up with the latest high resolution rapid refresh model should catch a break in the action a little bit later on tonight going into uh, the wee hours of our Wednesday morning, but then here comes another round of scattered showers and storms uh, as we head into mid morning. Wouldn't be surprised if we see activity get going a little bit earlier than what the model is projecting here, but uh, nonetheless, heavy downpours will be a possibility once again throughout the day tomorrow. Also a low end uh, risk to see severe weather. Maybe some storms capable of producing gusty winds and small hail, so we'll watch out for that, but uh, nonetheless, some ho uh, locally heavy downpours certainly possible. Hopefully catching a break late tomorrow evening into tomorrow night, but it looks like we're we're going to see another round of some showers and storms moving through early Thursday morning before things start to quiet down going into our Thursday afternoon. So here's our 24 hour forecast and uh, again, rain chances ramping right back up throughout the day tomorrow with heavy rains possible. Uh, so localized flash flooding remains a concern. So uh, low lying areas that are uh, prone to flooding, make sure to keep that in mind, get to higher grounds. Also uh, street flooding. So if you uh, you don't want to drive through that because you really don't know how deep that water is. So something we keep an eye on over the next couple of days and make sure to stay weather aware for sure. That's going to do it for news and weather for now. For future updates, keep it tuned to TV3 and follow us on our apps.